Yeah, what's up? I've released a new update just as I got back to Australia. So I thought I'd jump in, take a look with the scuffed setup, uh, and then also do a couple of tests on mostly these settings to do with the performance cores or both cores or no preference on the cores. We're just going to look at that setting in particular to see what's going to give you the best frames from this new update because there has been optimizations. I've ran some tests. Now let's talk about them. First off, I'm sorry, we're running on 16 by 10, so it is going to be slightly stretched. And also my crosshair looks massive because I'm on some crazy, I don't know, 2K, 4K screen and it's just enabled it. Or I'm old, who knows? Uh, but if we just go to settings and go to game, this is the setting that we're very interested in today. CPU cores usage preference. So what it used to be was no preference and your CPU would run as your CPU, but now you have the option to go preferred performance cores or performance cores only. So newer processors will have multiple cores. You have performance cores, but then you'll also have some eco cores depending on, you know, what processor you have. You'll have more of one or more of the other, or maybe none of the other. It just depends on what you have. So what I suggest is not to take my word for granted here. I'll tell you what my specs are of the laptop that I'm running the test on. Uh, but what I've found so far, the TLDR is preferred performance cores seems to be the best option, uh, but we'll go over that in the video and I'll show you the results. And just a bit of housekeeping as well. When you do change this setting, you will have to go and quit and restart the game for the setting to work. So you can't just like scroll to a different one and expect it to work. You have to fully restart the game. So the way that I tested this was using the uh, workshop map CS2 FPS benchmark. You might have seen it on Twitter. Uh, it's made by Angel as well as Elias, aka Frequency. You've probably seen his name around. Uh, so it, it's been used just to test 1% lows as well as the average FPS. And what I'm going to be doing is just using that today. I'll run that in the background now so you can see exactly what it looks like when it runs the FPS benchmark. And then we'll talk about exactly what's gone down and which of the settings ended up being better for me on this laptop, which isn't even my main PC. So first off, the one that we have on the screen is no preference. I ran these, of course, before I had OBS running with nothing else running in the background and then just changed it, reopened CS and, and tried each of these different settings just to make sure they were as accurate as possible. Uh, and with no preference, you can see the average is 334.5 FPS with the 1% uh, lows being 107.1. So before we jumped into the next one, I just wanted to show you the specs of the laptop that I'm running. Uh, we have a GeForce RTX 4080 laptop GPU. So it's not the same as the 4080 that would be in a desktop. And then also for the processor itself, which is what we kind of need to focus on, if we've got a 13th gen Intel Core i9-13900HX, which I believe is the laptop version of the 13900. So yeah, it, it's not the greatest, not the newest tech that's in the laptop, but it is, you know, above average and it should be putting out performance, which is why you're seeing above at least 300 FPS in CS2. So for my CPU, it's got 24 total cores, eight of which are performance cores and 16 of which are efficient cores. So if I was to put it on performance only, it'd only be running off of eight cores rather than the 24 cores that are there. So keep that in mind as we look at the next two settings. So on your screen now, it's the performance only setting. And as you can see, it's barely gone up in average FPS, it's like less than four, I think it's 3.6 if we want to be precise. And the 1% lows are actually lower than what it was with no preference before. So overall, this setting hasn't done much for me, but you can see that I've got a low amount of performance cores on the CPU. If you have more performance cores on a newer CPU, then maybe it's worth trying the setting out. But you can try them out no matter what, just to test things out. I know, you know, the AMD CPUs as well. Uh, pretty hectic pretty powerful so uh you know run it over there let me know how it goes and the third and final test result is for preferred performance now as you can see the fps average is about eight frames higher which is pretty cool but the big difference is the one percent lows are almost 30 frames higher than the other two settings so for me on this cpu setup i'm going to be running this setting for sure the preferred performance over no preference or uh, performance only and what I suggest for you is to download this map have a look at all three settings because your CPU might be completely different to the one that I'm running here and you can figure out for yourself which setting is best for your setup I'd suggest running these tests on your own PC yourself but if you can't be bothered then look run preferred performance because it's better for me here I'm going to be running all of the tests again when I get home to Malta on my desktop just to check which of the settings is actually the best for me and I'll let you know if it's different from the laptop setup.
Anyway, that's it from me and Pico on the scuffed remote setup from Australia. Shout out to A-Stone for sending this headset again, the A-Spire Wireless. Let me know if it sounded decent considering, you know, it's just a headset mic. And hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned a thing or two. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.